All right, so this is going to be topic 10.2, and we're talking about arithmetic sequences and series. All right, so an arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which the difference between any two terms is constant. All right, so um, we've done some of these, but now we're going to learn like a rule you can use each time. It makes it easier to find the um, explicit formula. So um, the common difference is the numerical difference between two terms. Right? And to find the common difference, which is called D, all you have to do is take like the second term, which would be like A sub 2, and subtract the first term from it. Or it could be the fourth term and subtract the third term from it. So you just subtract uh, two consecutive terms. Okay, so on these uh, first few examples, we're going to determine if the sequence is arithmetic. And if it is, then we're going to find the common difference and then give the next three terms. And so what you do is you just kind of check to make sure you know, they're all going up by the same value. And so if we check um, from 5 to 8 is 3, and then we add 3 again, we get 11. We add 3 again, we get 14. We add 3 again, we get 17. So we would say yes. This is an arithmetic sequence, and that common difference is 3. How much is going up? by each time. Now if it's going up, it'll be a positive common difference, and if it's going down, it'll be negative. All right, <clears throat> and then to find the next three terms, we are just going to keep adding three. So add three, we're going to add three to 17 and get 20, and then 23, and then 26. So let's check on number two. So we're going to check to make sure that these are all changing by the same amount. So the difference between 23 and 16 is actually negative 7. All right, and then we just need to check to make sure we're still subtracting 7. So 16 minus 7 is 9. 9 minus 7 is negative 2. 2 minus 7 is negative 5. So we would say yes, it is an arithmetic sequence, and the common difference is negative 7. And then to find the next three terms, we're just going to keep subtracting 7. So negative 5 minus 7 is negative 12. Minus 7 is negative 19, and then minus another 7 is negative 26. All right, then when we look at number three, um, when we look at the difference between these two, it's you're adding one, and you're adding one. So that looks pretty good, but then here, you're adding two, and then here, you're adding three. So we would say no. This one is not arithmetic, and it is a pattern, but it's not arithmetic pattern. Um, and so we, if it's no, you don't have to do anything else. All right, for this next one, the difference between these two, like this is going down by two, down by two, keep going down by two. So this is yes, D is negative two, and then we'll keep subtracting two to find the next three terms. We look at this next one. 
to go from negative 20 to negative 10, you actually add 10. And then you add 5. And add 5. But because this first one was off, it was negative 10, and then it was plus 10, <clears throat> and then plus 5. This is no. That first little mistake messed it up. And then when we look at this one, um, we're trying to figure out if this is changing by the same amount each time. And if you can't do it in your head, you can you can type in negative 23 minus negative 35, and you would get 12. And then to see, do you add 12 um, to negative 23 to get negative 11? And you do. And then negative 11 plus 12 gives you the 1. And then 1 plus 12 gives you 13. So this is yes, D is 12, and then the next three, we're just going to keep adding 12, 25, 37, 49. All right. So a few days ago, we had to write our own sequences, um, but here, we will still do that, but here, if it's an arithmetic sequence, we can just follow this formula. And so the rule is going to be a sub n. So it's to find whatever term you want. If it's arithmetic sequence, you can do d times n minus 1 in parentheses plus the first term. All right, so a sub 1, again, is the first term. And d is the common difference. So I'll give you guys a few more minutes to get a few more seconds to get that written down. So on number seven, like to get this formula, we need two things. We need the common difference and we need the first term. So to figure out the first term, it's easy. You just look at the sequence. The first term is negative five. That's done. And then the, the common difference, we can take the second term and subtract the first term from it, or we can just figure out how much is going up or down by each time. So this one is going up by four each time. So then I'm ready to write my formula. So a sub n is going to be equal to whatever we just found for D, which is four. And then in parentheses, we have N minus one, and then plus the first term. Now, since that first term was negative, we it would make more sense to do minus that first term. Okay, and then just take a second and um, distribute that four. and then combine your like terms. Okay. That's the sequence. Okay, and then there's one more thing it's asking us to do for this problem and it's to find A of 24, or A sub 24. And that's just putting 24 in so we can find the 24th term. We don't have to find, like start at the fourth and just keep finding terms and keep finding terms. We can find the 24th term just by plugging that, that uh, 24 in for n, and then you can use the calculator to do that. So I'm just going to type 4 times 24 minus 9. So that means the 24th term is going to be 87. 
And those were the two things that this problem was asking you to do, to find the rule, this is the rule, and then use the rule to find the 24th term. All right, um, so for number eight, we're gonna find the rule first, and then we're gonna use the rule to find the 15th term. All right, so what we need is the first term and we need the common difference. So the first term I can just find from, find from my sequence is 20. And then you need to look and see what, how, like the, like what it's changing by each time. And so it's going down by nine each time. And so that makes the common difference negative nine. All right, so all I'm doing, I might be going too fast, all I'm doing is I'm taking what I just found, the first term and the D, and I'm putting it into the formula. So I just put negative nine for D, and then now I'm gonna put 20 in for A sub one. Okay, and then I'll just go ahead and distribute the negative nine and then combine my like terms. All right, that is the rule that they're asking for. And then the second part, they want us to use that rule to find the 15th term. So we're just gonna take 15, unplug it in for N, and our cat again, we can use the calculator to do that. It's just negative nine times 15 plus 29. The 15th term is gonna be negative 106. All right, so um, I'm gonna hold off on those two examples right there. Um, so you guys can have more time to work on your assignment. Uh, we can come back to them later if we need to. All right, the, these next two examples, we're just gonna mark them out. And then we're gonna go to arithmetic series. So you just marked out 11 and 12, and we're gonna go to an arithmetic series. So a series, is going to be a sum. So recall that a series is the sum of a sequence. And when finding the sum of an arithmetic series, we're going to use this formula where you have S sub N is equal to N, which is however many terms you're adding up, times this fraction where it's the first term, A sub 1, plus the nth term, divided by two. All right, N is going to be the number of terms. All right, and then hopefully by now we all know A sub one is the first term. And A sub N is going to be the last term that we're adding in this series. Okay, so let's look at 13. So we're gonna find S sub 10. Now to do that, we need to know the number of terms we're adding up. That's gonna be 10, so N is 10. We need to know the first term, which we do. The first term in the series is not it's uh, two, sorry. And then we need to know the last term. So if we're adding 10 terms, we need to know the 10th term. That we don't know yet, but we can figure it out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do 
is use my a sub n formula. So I'm just going to rewrite it over here so we don't have to keep flipping back and forth. But to the a sub n rule is d times n minus 1 in parentheses plus the first term. Okay, so we do need to figure out um, what this is going up by each time. And so you can tell that um, each term you're adding 2 to get the next one. So that means that D for this particular problem, D is going to be 2. So it's going to be 2. All right, then N, we already know, is 10. And then plus. The first term, which is 2. Okay. That means that the 10th term is going to be 2. Well, we could just type that in the calculator just like that if you wanted to. That's no big deal. The 10th term is going to be 2 times. You can make that 9 or you can make that 10 minus 1. I don't care. The 10th term is 20. Okay, now we're not done. So I know it feels like we should be because we did just use a formula, but we have to use another one. S sub 10. We're going to use this new formula right here. All right, so it's going to be N, which we said was 10 times a fraction. On the top of the fraction, we're going to add the first term, and in this case, we're going to add the 10th term which is 20. So we're going to add 2 and 20. And then we're going to divide that by 2. And that's going to give us the sum of the first 10 terms. And if you want to just type this in like it looks, you can. Is alpha y equals to get the fraction? One hundred and ten is the sum of the first ten terms. All right, now I know that's a multi-step problem, um, but we can do it. Okay, so let's look at this next one. So to use this sum formula, we need three things. We need to know n, we need to know the first term, and then we need to know the last term. So if we're finding the sum of the first eight terms, n is eight. The first term is obviously the first one that's listed there, that's negative six. We need to know the eighth term, we need to know the last term. All right, so we can use that, this old formula over here. It's not really old, it's just from earlier in the lesson where we're going to take the common difference, which is D. So look and see what these are changing by each time. So it looks like they're going down by 13 each time. And then we're going to multiply that by N minus 1. Now we know N is 8. So we're multiplying that by 8 minus 1. And then we're going to add the first term from it, but since it was negative, we're going to subtract. All right, that you can type in your calculator exactly like that looks, and you will get that the eighth term is negative 97. All right. So now we have everything we need to find what they're asking us to find, which is the sum of the first eight terms. All right, so we're just going to use this formula. So we're going to take n, which we said was eight, and then in parentheses, we're going to add the first term and the last term, and then we're going to divide that by two.
Oops, I messed up. Let's try that again. I don't know why I put 10 there. I guess I just looked at the one above. So we're not doing 10, we're doing 8. There we go. So the sum of the first eight terms should be negative 412. Okay, now on 15 and 16, we don't have to use these formulas we've been doing. Um, all we have to do is use the summation that we talked about yesterday. So to figure that out, all we're going to do is do alpha window, just like yesterday. And then we're going to choose number two. And then we'll just fill in all of our stuff. So that sum is just going to be 420. All right, and then this sign, just like yesterday. Now, if you didn't remember how to get there, it's alpha window. And then two. So to do this one, we're just going to do alpha window 2. Um, we don't need to use M. We'll just go ahead and use X. You can use M if you want to, but... Uh -oh. Okay, so I use the minus instead of the negative. Okay, so that's sum should be negative 220. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is, is not the whole worksheet, it's most of it though. Um, so go ahead and do the front. Um, when you get to these, you can just mark out these four. Okay, and then this last three are calculator problems. 